everyone. This is Billy. Welcome to Billy Holman Creations. And it is a Wednesday, so I kept saying I was going to try to put a few Wednesday videos out uh, that are just simple crafts. So I have an idea, and this is something I made years ago. Um, today I'm going to use hair barrettes, but when I made them before, they were a little more elaborate, and they were um, brooches with pinbacks on them. But today I'm going to do something different. And um, this little project goes out to some of you quilters out there. Now, I've made jean quilts through the years, you know, for my kids. And, uh, of course, Billy being Billy saves everything. Here's a waistband. And what we're going to use from this waistband of a pair of jeans is a belt loop. So, if you have a lot of belt loops hanging around, all you need is little hair clips, and these measure two and one quarter inches. Little E6000. And all we're going to do to start out with is, now I always put the opening to my right. Or no, let's see. Because they usually slide on the hair that way, so the opening is to the left. It makes no mind at this point, but... I'm just going to take, I'm going to back up a little, little E6000, cover the back of this little bugger, take my pant loop, and it actually fits just perfectly there. So from the little seam or the little fold to the little fold. I'm just going to center that in and I'm going to put a little more glue here on the edge of the clasp. You don't want to get it on the clasp. You won't open it. And I'm just going to fold. So you might have to trim the tips though. Sometimes I had to trim the tips off a little bit. Maybe a little more. to get that in. Get that right there. If you have a little clothes pin, that would help too. I have some right behind me, which I should probably grab. Cut the tip off of this one too. And fold that over. So, since my clothes pins are handy, I'm going to grab a couple. They're right behind me. I did this before and I used tacky fabric tack. But I'm going to try the E6000 today. And I've got these little clothes pins. I know that fabric tack, you know, adheres quicker, but I don't think it holds as well. So that's why we're going with the E6000. Let's clip that on. Okay. I'm going to put that one aside. Let it dry. And I'm going to bring you down just a little bit. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, shakes. A bit of shakes. All right. Now, I've gathered beads and wire and head pins. And, uh, oh, if you have one of these, you know, seam rippers, that helps get those loops off your jeans. But what I have here, and any lace will do, but I have two boxes of this lace right here, which is a plastic, and it's a shelving lace. So this is quite an old box. There's no date, really. Uh, there's a PMC number, but it's quite old. Anyway, I've had this forever, and I thought I'd just use a little bit up. So what I'm going to do is, where's my bread? I'm just going to grab a piece, about yay long, cut this right at the middle of that decoration, divide it up, and I'm going to cut 
just this lace bit off. Like I said, you can use any lace. I just happened to have this and I wanted to use it up a little bit. And I'm just going to get this piece off of there. that and go around that curve like so and while I'm at it I might as well cut a few of these flowers out because you can use those for something and actually we're going to use some today too so I'll just quickly cut one out here I looked on Amazon to see if I could find any shelving lace, and there's uh, not much to choose from. I did find one, and I put it in my Amazon shop, but it's pretty thick, width-wide, wide, width wide, and uh, I don't know. I remember in the in the olden days. I remember seeing some of this lace on ladies' shelves. Quite pretty. So, anyway, cut the rest of the flowers out. We can use them. So, since this one is drying, I have one right here. So simple. And once I figured out the length of this curve to fit it on that bread piece, I just cut it. Took my E6000, went corner to corner, and uh, I just need to embellish it. So, you know, I have a bunch of these little flowers and bows, and uh, yeah, there's flowers and bows. These I got from Walmart in the sewing section. You've seen me use these before. Very pretty. But I found some purple ones, so I'm going to use these little purple ones and really all we need to do is uh I'm gonna put a daub of glue here it's a little messy take one of these flowers and I'm gonna set it right in the middle there okay like that and I could do three more, or two more, excuse me. Let's go ahead and do two more on each side and cover this little edge up. Put these in place. That one's, that one's kind of bent, it's not flat. Flatten it out, stick it on there. Come on doesn't want to. I guess I have the glue in the wrong place. Or the fabric just sucked it right up. Let me find one that's flatter. Here we go. Make sure it's right side up. Just going to set it there. Do the other side. Another flat piece. These are so cute for little girls. Little girls who love to wear barrettes. Get that down. I said the tacky glue or hot glue. Why won't that one stay? Let's come over here a little bit. I've got glue all over my hands. Plus, playing with the cats, I've got little scratches. Let that dry. Get some of that off of there. And then I'm just going to cut, if I can, part of the butt off of this rose without it falling apart, I hope. Let's see. It might fall apart. Oh, come on, Billy. Yep, it fell apart. Well, forget that one. I'm going to grab the tacky glue just because it's handy and it'll 
adhere quicker. And I just had a bottle right here. Okay. Do it this way. Whoops. Don't take the whole cap off, Billy. All right. Peel that dried glue off of there. That's why my hands are always a mess. It's either glue or paint or resin or stain. All right. I'm just going to put a daub. Come on, you. Right here. Right here. And right here. And we'll just set those little purple flowers right on there. It's a good way to use up your little scraps. And there you go. Simple as that. What do you think? Let me give you an example of what I did the other day while I was watching YouTube. I did some lavenders with little bows. And all you need is a piece of wire, string a few beads, bend it in. Glue it down, you've got those. Here we have red flowers and lace. I beaded some, did some beads on wire and twisted, twisted, twisted. Came up with those. Here's another one in blue. Same concept, different kind of flowers. Oh, the yellows turned out pretty. These are simple. Almost like the ones we just did. And here's some pink with some beads. Aren't those precious? Yeah. Here's a uh, light green and white with beads. And then if you didn't want to go beads, I just did little purple heart stickers. So there you have it. Probably the quickest video I've ever done. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this. I hope you try it. It's a lot of fun. Um, like I said, just cut the belt loops off the old jeans and um, make some pretty little hair brits for pretty little girls. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.